iPhoto has always given the photographer some really great tools for printing out their images, but the new version of iPhoto really takes that to a whole new level. To take a look at this, what we're going to do is we're going to print out this image here. And so the first thing I'm going to do with this image is I'm going to come under the File menu, and I'm going to choose Print. When I choose Print, the Print dialog box comes up. Now this is iPhoto's own specialized print dialog box. You'll notice that we have the printer selected here, which is our excellent HP PhotoSmart uh, Pro B9180, one of my favorite printers. And over here on the left-hand side, we've got a number of different themes. Uh, there's a standard theme, a contact sheet theme, which is great if we're printing out multiple images on a single page. We have a simple border. We're going to look at borders using the standard theme and customizing it. Simple matte and double matte. Now these obviously don't actually print out onto matte, but what they do is they print out an image that simulates it having been printed on matte paper. We can do that with this standard theme and customizing it, so let's do that. The first thing I want to do is just make sure that our paper size is correct. In this case, I'm going to be printing from US letter, but you'll see that I could print from any of the other sizes that are available with this printer. But I'm going to leave this at US letter, and I'm going to just change this to borderless, because my printer does borderless at this size. And you'll notice when I choose that, automatically the picture has changed. There's no longer in this little preview, there's no longer any border around that. So the next thing I'm going to do is click the Customize button. When I click the Customize button, that brings up a whole new set of choices. If we look down at the bottom, we'll notice that we have our Print Settings dialog box choices here, which I'll get back to in a bit. We have Themes, we have Background, Borders, Layout, Adjustments, and Settings. Now we don't need to adjust this image, we could have done that in the editing panel, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change a couple things. First I'm going to come to themes, and you'll notice I have those same themes that were available before. In this case I'm going to leave it at the standard theme. Then I'm going to come to background, I'm going to change the color here. Right now we have a white background, which we don't really notice because we haven't put a background around it yet, but I'm going to leave this as a dark gray background. Now when I come to borders, we'll see the same effects that I could have if I was choosing a single or a double matte. So what we're going to do at this point is I'm just going to simulate a mat so you can see the background. I'm going to choose this mat style right here. This is going to give me a border around my image and you can see that I've got that border going on. Now I just want to come to the layout here and you can see that I've got a couple of different styles for layout. I've got a horizontal layout, I have a horizontal layout with text under it, a vertical or portrait layout, and a portrait layout with text underneath it. So for this picture I just want to show you, this is not the one I would normally use, but I'm going to choose a horizontal layout and uh, what that's done is it's cropped my image a little bit and so I want to figure out what to do in order to my mo move my image around. Now normally you would think that you should double click this photo, that's what it seems like you should do to be able to move it around or click it and drag it, but that's not actually the right thing to do. In this case we want to click it once. When we click it once we'll notice that these tools appear at the top of the image. And these tools are going to allow us to scale the image and to move it around. And so right now uh, if I drag to the right I will scale into the image and if I drag left I will scale back out of that image. And if I move right here this is what I really want to do. I want to click on this hand and when I click on the hand uh, it will toggle back and forth between being darker and lighter. And when it's lighter, it means it's selected. And so I'm going to click on that until it's selected. And then I'm going to click on the image, and I'm going to move the image down until I've got just the area of the image that I want. So I'm going to move it down to right about here. That's a little bit weird. There we go. Now I've got the image the way that I want it. I'm going to come down here and insert a description, and I'm simply going to insert the description by clicking on the area, and I'm going to type in summertime at home. At this point I could just hit the print button and it's going to print my image. I just want to show another thing. I'm going to come over here to the print settings box. When I hit the print settings box, if I wanted to, I could at this point just jump back up to the original presets. And so for example, I have this set up already, this custom way to do it, but I could just jump to the single mat and then that would change the layout to the single mat. I'm going to click back on standard and you see it's reset everything because that customize is not saved. I'm going to just cancel out of there so it doesn't make a change. I'm going to come over here and hit the print button. It's going to bring up my print dialog box and it's going to start my image. Now I want to show one more thing though. I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose a couple of images and so I'm actually going to cancel out of this. I'm going to go back into one of my uh, events here. I'm going to go into this Halloween event with some of my friends and I'm going to click a couple of pictures here and I'm going to do just a quick contact sheet from this event. And so now when I come up here I'm going to hit Command P to bring up print. I'm going to choose contact sheet and I'm going to hit customize. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to come here I'm going to choose a different background color. I'm going to do my contact sheet on gray. My layout, I don't have a choice here because it's a contact sheet, and contact sheets always prints the images up the same way. 
I'm going to hit settings though and when I hit settings it gives me the ability to add things to my contact sheet. So right now I just have the title but I'm going to click the camera make. I'm going to hit shutter speed, aperture, focal length and ISO and I'm going to say OK and now all of that information is added to this contact sheet. I'm going to come over to the print button. It's going to bring up my normal print dialog box and I'm ready to go. That's all there is to printing an iPhoto. As you can see, there's a lot more options than there used to be, and it gives you the ability to make some really beautiful output.